All right, so we've successfully downloaded the Anaconda distribution, and in this lesson, I'll take you through the process of installing it. So here I have my exe file in my downloads folder, and I'm going to double click it to launch the installer. Let's run it, and we're going to get this prompt, this setup wizard. So just click next on this page. Uh, let me scroll down here. This is just going to be a bunch of legal text. You can see here that's going to introduce some of the libraries that are included uh, in the distribution. I'm going to click I agree. You can choose to install it for yourself or for all users on the computer. I'm just going to do it for me. That makes it more local, so click Next here. This is where it's going to tell you where on the computer it's going to set up the Anaconda distribution. And this is important to memorize because this is basically the entire directory where the installation will be self-contained. So what's great about Anaconda is everything is packaged within a single directory and deleting that directory effectively un uninstalls or deletes Anaconda from your computer. So it doesn't scatter files all over the system, some in the system folder, some in this folder, some in the user folder. Everything is going to be within this Anaconda 3 directory. Everything is self-contained, so it's very simple uh, to remove it in case you ever want to. So I'm going to memorize this folder location, click Next. Uh, if you don't know any of these options yet, if you're just getting started, feel free to leave them um, checked. They're all okay. Um, if you are a, an existing Python developer, you may want to look into this option, which deals with um, how this installation of Python is going to affect other uh, Python development programs on your computer. Again, if you're just getting started, just leave these both checked and then press the install button. And that's basically going to start the prompt. And what you can do here, of course, is click show details to see the progress. And what it's basically going to do, as we can see here, is begin with the installation of Python 3.5 and then proceed to uh, installing all of the hundred or so libraries that are packaged within that large distribution. So you can see here that it's moved on to Ashtabee, now Babel, and now Blaze, and all of these are basically libraries. So as we move through this list, eventually we'll get to Pandas. So what I'm going to do at this point is just let this run so you can track the progress, but basically this is all you need to do. And once this entire thing is done, we're still going to have to spend a little bit of time on updating these libraries as well as installing some additional ones that we'll need throughout this course. So I'm just going to leave this running and I'll check back in when this installer is completely done. And there we can see pandas appear for a brief second, and now it's gone. All right, so now we've successfully completed the installation. We can see that completed appears right here at the bottom. So let's click Next. Here, if you want to learn more about the Anaconda Cloud, which is just Continuum Analytics Cloud Storage Solution, you can uh, feel free to check that out. And then click Finish, and you are all set. So Anaconda has successfully installed. All of these libraries are here. They may be a little bit out of date. We'll fix that problem in the next lesson. But if we now go to that directory that was listed in the installer, for me it was C users and then it's going to be your local user directory you can see that there is an anaconda 3 folder that will appear in that location and if i click inside this is basically all of anaconda so this is python 3.5 as well as all of the hundred or so libraries so this is where um anaconda and pandas is now packaged so we've successfully installed and we are ready to go 
So in the next lesson, I will take you through the process of accessing the Windows command prompt, updating all of these libraries to their latest version, as well as installing some additional ones, and then we'll come even closer to getting started with the actual course content itself. So I'll see you in the next lesson.